Close your eyes and settle the mind with a breath. See how long you can stay just with that sensation of breathing and not go following other thoughts. Other thoughts may come into the mind, but you don't have to follow them. You stay right here. This is your safe place. This is your secure place. This is the place you can call home. As for the thoughts that go through the mind, you can't really call them home. They're like bubbles. You go try living in a bubble. It's okay as long as it's floating, but then it bursts. You're back down on the ground. And sometimes the higher the bubble flo floats, the more it hurts when you fall. So be careful about those bubbles. Take the breath as your solid ground. And when a thought comes in, you're going through daily life, there may be some thoughts you do have to think about. For right now, though, you have no other responsibilities. Try to get this state of mind where you're not really engaged with the world at all. Train that so that it's more solid, more secure, a place where you can go to when you need it. Because you look at the world outside. It started out as a bubble. At some point you saw this human life and you said, that would be a good place to go. There was something you wanted out of human life. But then you get here and realize there's more to the human world than just the few things you wanted. And some of them can really weigh you down, and they don't respond that well to your desires. You push on the world and it pushes back. And so you've got to ask yourself, what do you really want? And there, are these, there is the opportunity to find a true happiness here. But it means putting aside a lot of other issues. And a lot of them are issues that you can't really control anyhow, that you've got yourself all worked up about, because you can't control them. And it's better to let them go for the time being and focus on things that you can learn how to control, like your own mind. Otherwise, it just keeps on creating bubbles, and you go live in the bubbles, and then you fall again. It's happened who knows how many times. So here's your chance to get something that's a lot more secure. Once the mind is in a secure place, then it can live in the world and deal with the world and not be oppressed by the world. But you've got to make sure that this place is yours. Don't let the world move into your mind to the extent that it takes over. You've got to reclaim your own space and make it a good place to settle down. That's why we work with the breath, something here in the body that you can work with, and it will have an impact, sometimes immediately, sometimes it takes a while, but it will have an impact on how you experience the body, the sense of ease that you can develop here, and you have a sense of being comfortable in your own skin. Then you don't have to worry so much about the world outside. You've got a comfortable place inside. It's not that you don't care about other people. You do, but you want to be able to put your mind in a place where you realize that other people make their choices. And there's only so much you can do to influence those choices. The big problem is that we have the ability to influence our own choices, and yet we turn them over to automatic pilot. So try to be more conscious about the choices you make, and particularly a place. give yourself a place where you can make those choices wisely. Come from a position of strength rather than from a position of fear and weakness. So that's what the breath provides, something a lot more solid and reliable than these bubbles that are floating through your mind.